Greetings, everyone. I've got a bunch of announcements, I guess, for today. First of all, I cut my hair. What do you think? I First time I've ever cut my hair. I give myself a 5 out of 7 for it, I think. Um, we need to talk about the final exam that is coming up on Tuesday at 10.30 a.m. It's an online Canvas quiz kind of thing, so you'll go to the final exam uh, quiz that should open up at 10.30 on Tuesday, and you can just take that as a normal quiz. The format is, it's mostly multiple choice. It's about two-thirds multiple choice. Probably about one-third multiple choice conceptual, one-third multiple choice mathematical, where you have to do some math and you've got five options or something like that. And then about one third where you have to enter a number, calculate something and enter a number. And you just enter it normally, like a number, um, just, you know, 78.2, type in 78.2, whatever it is, and it should work. There are questions with equations in them. And so in either this announcement or however I sent this to you, um, check out the announcement that I sent alongside it. There will be an equation there. It's just going to be some basic equation. But if you can see that equation, everything is fine. If you cannot see that equation, you need to update your browser, most likely. That should fix things if you have the most updated browser. The test probably will not work on your phone. You actually have to be at a computer to take the test. If that's going to be a problem, email me and we'll figure something out um, and uh, hopefully get everything done just right. But yeah, make sure that you can see the equation that I'm going to be posting alongside this in the announcement. Um, the questions for this test will be drawn randomly from question banks. There's going to be between 24 and 30 questions. We actually still have not finalized that. Uh, I've finalized mine. Um, but there will be uh, some number of questions. And so for question one, it will draw randomly from a bank of three different questions. The questions that it's drawing from in the question bank are all extremely similar to each other, but not exactly the same. So everyone will actually have completely different tests because the, the tests will always be drawing random questions from the question banks. The difficulty of the different tests should be completely the same. There should be no difference in difficulty between any of your tests, but it will be slightly different questions on each. Last minute study hints. First of all, you should review all of the old PowerPoints. There's a whole lot of PowerPoints, but you should go through all of them and just re-familiarize yourself with everything that we've done this semester. It is a lot of stuff. Just looking through it again can help jog your memory. More than that, though, you should be doing some of the example problems that we did in the, in the PowerPoints. So redo those examples, go back to your notes, make sure that you know what you're doing, and make sure that you can do those kinds of questions that we had in the past. Do as many of these kinds of example problems as you have time for. Um, watch the videos again that we had for the second half of the class. And don't just watch them, but study them. Try to do the problems along with what I'm doing. Go to the, the equation sheet. I have uh, those, those two equation sheets now. Go to those equation sheets and look through all of them and know what everything means in all those equation sheets. Look at every little bit of those equation sheets and know what everything means in the equation sheets. Always have the right kind of angle in your calculator. I think at least a third of the points that I had to mark down on the last test were because people were having degrees instead of radians or radians instead of degrees. If you see things like pi over 4 or, you know, 2 pi, things like that, you're definitely in radians. Um, if you have uh, things that are in, like, omega, omega, uh, the angular velocity, is always in radians. So if you're looking at something that says omega, make sure that you are in 
radians, not degrees. If you see pi over 2, radians, not degrees. On the other hand, you know, everything else is in, uh, is in degrees. So you will probably several times during this test, during the final, you'll have to switch back and forth between radians and degrees. So be very, very careful about switching back and forth between radians and degrees. Know what kinds of problems take what and get skilled at understanding and looking for when something says, yeah, this is going to be in radians or this is going to be in degrees. And always make sure that you're converting to kilograms and meters and seconds. We talked about that this at the beginning of the semester, but we've got meters. Yep, that makes sense. Seconds. That makes sense. Kilograms. Okay, that makes less sense, but we just have to remember, convert to kilograms and meters and seconds. We still have a few days before the final exam. I'm confident that you'll be able to do well, and um, I, uh, as long as you study. So remember, please study diligently for this exam. Um, I have never had a multiple choice exam that my colleagues have contributed two thirds of. So uh, if it's a complete disaster, then I'll give bonus points to people. I'll curve it. Um, I hope to not have to curve it, but um, don't worry too much about that. Just worry about doing as best you can personally. That's the most important thing that we can do here. So I wish everyone the best of luck. Please email me if you have any questions. We'll have office hours on Monday as usual, and you can make appointments with me for other office hours pretty much whenever you want before the final exam on Tuesday at 1030. Good luck to you all. And of course, I forgot to say that you also need to be looking at all the videos that I posted. I have posted a whole ton of videos to watch um, for, uh, for the final exam review. It is not comprehensive by any stretch of the imagination. It's just a few of the things that I thought that you could really use so yeah, go back and look at those videos. They're in the pages section of Canvas. So go to the pages part of this class and it should just be the first page that opens up. And it should actually also be the home page for uh, this class on Canvas. So watch all those videos, study all those videos uh, for the review videos in addition to the ones that I have on the regular YouTube account. So that's a bunch of videos that you need to be looking at, but they should be helpful. So again, good luck.